Hey fellas, me Trapper here. We're in the black belt of the great state of Alabama and it's another beautiful day that God's given us. It's just magnificent. It's clear, bluebird sky, nice and cold. Wind's a little bit high, but uh, this is just a magnificent day. We're gonna do a little bit of trapping down here in the black belt. And uh, I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing. So uh, thanks for coming along and let's get on down the river. Well, let's see if uh, you think any beaver have been uh, climbing in and out of the water here. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything like that? I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. Huh. Wonder if that'll be a good spot. I think I might put a 330 right there. I wanted to take a break and just show you this one little area on the swamp here. This is a, a little uh, lodge entrance and exit complex. And, uh, what I'm going to show you is in a uh, space of about 50 feet on this river. Check this out. That is a massive, massive tunnel right there. That is just, I mean, you can see back up in there a ways. And that's just, that's incredible. That's a, that's a huge highway. The water right there is very deep. You've got a little area where there's passageways all through here. Another set of den entrances and slides over here. Now let me walk over here a little bit. It's another tunnel right there. One directly across. A massive pile of cut sticks up there back down into the deep water here and this is slick moving through here all up through there I mean it's just torn up everywhere you look I literally could put in two dozen sets in what I've just shown you. It's amazing. So I'm going to set this up good. Uh, this is the definition of a place that needs gang set. Getting tired. Sun's getting uh, lower in the sky. I got to get going. Okay, here's a good illustration of my uh, lure donut that I've been doing. You can see that's a slice cut off of the uh, Walmart pool noodle. Uh, just think about how many of those you can cut off of uh, one noodle that you can buy for a dollar or so. Uh, it soaks up the lure like a sponge. Uh, it's easy to hang or suspend on a stick like that. And you can see I've got it directly over that snare that's uh, hung in the water. I've added a little bit of fence in there. So, the idea is the beaver smells the lure, comes swimming along and gets caught. If I don't make a catch, I simply take that, throw that back in a Ziploc bag, and uh, that just sits in there and permeates with that lure scent and can be reused if I don't make a catch. Uh, I'm just trying to make the lure go farther and uh, make it a little bit easier. If I tried to smear the lure on this little stick, I wouldn't get very much, and I'm not sure... Uh, how long that would stay up there and plus this being a bright color adds some eye appeal makes it easy to see you can see always gang set there's another one and that one's on uh, that sticks on a 45 degree angle and the lure donut is right above the snare on that one and so you can see there's my two if it's good enough for one it's good enough for two all right let's take a look at this set here what we have is a caster mound and you can tell the beavers are competing 
because look at how that mound is flattened down and destroyed. In other words, one beaver came along and piled up the leaves, deposited his scent. Next beaver came along, smashed it all down, deposited his scent, and said, no, this is my territory. Now, if you look at how wide this opening is, this is probably seven feet across. There's no way that I can cover all of this with traps or snares. It would take too many traps. Now, the main passage is right here, but like I showed in a previous video where I put three snares in front of a caster mount and only one caught, I'd have to cover this whole area. So, to me, that's not feasible. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to add my lure on top of that. Today's lure is uh, Paul Dobbins' backbreaker. Great lure. But over here, right next to it, I've got a little uh, exposed root... Uh, undercut bank basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang a snare right in there and I'm gonna put a vertical stick and I'm gonna make me a nice tight set that I can cover with one snare instead of trying to cover a seven or eight foot opening and remember the last time uh, I showed you on a video how the beaver dug a hole in so I'm gonna ankle a, anchor my snare up here with an earth anchor and that's another reason that I use a good long extension cable I want that beaver anchored up there but I don't want them, I want them to be able to swim around all out in here. And the best beaver lure is a live beaver. Now on down, I've got four 330s set on different slides. This one is the first one before I get to open water. My hope is that I catch the beaver here first, and this live beaver draws the other ones in, and they hit my 330s down there. That's the plan, and uh, we will see how it goes. And that's what I ended up with. You can see there's my fiberglass rod, and I've got the number 11 support wire. I've switched to number 11 wire here, uh, giving that a try. I've got a lure stick there, and one hanging from the ceiling directly over it. Added a little bit of fencing, and an earth anchor going up right there. So uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, fellas, the first set that I come to, I had a, a 330 right there, and uh, as you can see, I had it staked down with that stakeolizer, and uh, I was just using the stakeolizer as a stake, not as a support. I just had it jammed up in that den entrance, and you can see there's result number one right there. That's nice. And uh, then I had a snare set right up, uh, right up here. You can see there's my snare support floating in the water and the snare cable is right here you can see I had it attached to that tree root that's one reason I give him a long way like 10 feet of cable so that he can get out there in the water and uh, do his thing that's a nice beaver there he uh, he not only fills up the entire back compartment of this boat that's a 12 foot boat but uh, he's hanging off the end so what I'm going to do now, I've got uh, three beavers on my first two checks, and I'm going to take them over and drop them at my ferry point across the river. Because what I'll do is I'll run up one slough, come down, drop everything, go up another slough, come down, drop everything. Because there's no way I can get 10 or 12 beavers in this boat with me. It's just not practical. So uh, that's a nice one, and it's, uh, it's shaping up to be a long day. That's good. All right, we're back up in the reeds where I found that uh, that big complex that I showed you. And uh, I've got one on a string over here who's got himself all tangled up. And then one of my other uh, loops is knocked down. I can't tell if I got one underwater or if uh, just a knockdown loop and, and no catch. So let's go take a look. There we go. He's been real still since I showed up. He was splashing around when I got here. But uh, he's right there in the middle. 
and you can see over there there's uh, my little donut still hanging there but the loop is gone so I don't know if uh, that just got knocked down so uh, let's go over here and uh, and take a look well fellas it was a great morning I ended up with five big beaver and uh, more important than the numbers uh, that's food. That's a lot of food uh, that I can put on the plate for my family. Uh, I've got some videos coming up where uh, I've been doing some canning, beaver canning. Uh, just using a raw pack method where you cube the meat up, put it in the cans, and uh, pressure cook it. Uh, it's working great. Uh, I'm going to be back to this spot. There's still a uh, beaver here to be caught. And uh, that will still leave an excess for uh, next year and the year after and the year after. Uh, I never wear a place out. I uh, come in and I take uh, some off the top and then move on. Uh, it's sort of a, a farming method. That way you'll never run out. But it's a beautiful, beautiful day in the great state of Alabama. And uh, I think I'm just going to uh, spend some time out here paddling and uh, then have a little lunch before I head home. But until then, uh, you guys take it easy. Y'all have a wonderful day. Uh, I know I am. God bless and we'll see you next time.